Welcome. Yes, sir. And yes, ma'am. What's good with y'all today? Or tonight, wherever region y'all are in. Today, y'all. Damn it, I don't have my sunglasses on. Caught me off guard again, Dion. So tonight, y'all, we have a special guest what? in the house. We're gonna let him introduce himself. He's so special. Who are you, my guy, my good man? Eric calls me Johnny O. That's Johnny right. O. There we go, Johnny, Johnny O. o. Hands yeah, in the middle Johnny moment. O. Hands in the middle for our new boy right here, Johnny O. He's Johnny gonna, O, y'all. He's gonna be awesome tonight. tonight. Yeah, it's a little different tonight. So yeah. tonight, y'all, we are giving the ladies some respect up in here. And we're going to do y'all right I'm the first one tonight. to clap. I'm you know, the first one to clap. I got a daughter and a mother. And I don't everything. have the clap. I have a daughter and a mother. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. clap is usually yeah. the first one with the clap. Well, no. Yeah. I Ladies, I don't have the clap. He, Take it away, Dion. Hopefully he don't. Sorry. His name is Eric, but he ain't got the clap. So tonight, y'all, we're going to give respect to some of these ladies that influenced us in life and some ladies that influenced the entire world. So. This is how we're gonna start off. Just because we got a special guest here tonight, we're going to let our special guest start off with his most, yeah, his most influential maybe. after he introduced himself and his oh, most influential, you, his most influential female in his life. Take it away, Jono. All right, so I, I really can't narrow it down. Who is to, this though? Who are you, bro? You're, you're just Johnny, Johnny O. Johnny o baby. Come on, tell us Johnny a little bit about you. Come on, I can't, baby. I can't say that as just one woman that was influential to me because cool. I, have, I have five sisters. Okay, break it down. This is rare, only, only boy, five only boy. sisters. Okay. Um, a mother. Wow. I was lucky enough to have Five a girls and a little from, boy, what the hell? What, life, what, and, and, and I also have a daughter. What yeah, age group were you? Too. Like in with those five sisters, were you the three youngest? Were you the middle? Were you the oldest? Three older, two younger. Three older, two younger. Okay, so you know the value of- Oh, so you were right in the fucking middle. Yeah, big brother and little brother. I'm a middle child too. Like I was, I, I am was, as well. I was lucky being the only boy as a middle child. Me too. Because I got my own room and shit like that. Because I was the only boy. Like the girls always had to share rooms. Ah, yeah. Um, you you sound like a selfish bastard did, already. Was it taught me respect? Yes. And it taught me. <laughs> it, it, it taught me love. It taught me how to treat a lady. How to see how that? See that chair. Went right uh, over the head right there. It was awesome. I liked um, it. You totally skipped. Not that I haven't great. had. And made many mistakes with ladies in life, but if yeah. not, if oh, not, if not for course. those, if not for those ladies in my life, oh sure, okay. yeah, I would, I would not be the person I am. You today. know what? You're right. That's a that's a unique way of putting it that I really didn't think about going into this tonight. I didn't think about that particular aspect, and wow, I can't believe you hit on that right the fuck away. Seriously, like that. that's interesting. Yeah, I like that. My grandmother was such a such an influence on on my family. <laughs> That when, when she passed, it was kind of like a, yeah, a little bit of a, a blow up of right of yeah, separation of, of, of anxiety. Well, when yeah. she when she uh, not just for me with the family itself, but yeah. she was such an she was such an influential lady that she like the, she, she was the glue with the family. Okay. Uh, but where I'm in my life now, yeah, man, my sisters, my mother, okay. um, and the things the things that they I've seen them been through and the foot that they've kept in may have sure I'm sure sure we'll, we'll sure yeah yeah bit, yeah when your strength is well you get shaped when you grow they are, up they no are the most influential uh, ladies well good bad okay. good bad like or indifferent how you grow up that's how you get shaped i mean I like luckily it. you had great people it sounds like to me in your life so god love you kudos Better. to you brother. i didn't deserve yeah, I don't deserve well, it. Well, hey, but well, you do. Uh, that's, you, that's do. You, a, seem, that's, you seem good enough to use that. But that's good. a good thing, though. That's a great thing. So, and I'll tell you what, that was a great story. What about it really, you? really was. I'm what sorry. about uh, who are, who is some oh, of Lord. the most influential women in your life? Not just one. I like how you said that, Johnny. We're going to switch it to who are I some of the one. most sorry. influential women in your life. I like how you, I like how you switched that up. Because we, we can't put it to just one. We can't just... um Yeah. Put it, you know, no, you no, can't yeah. look at it with um, tunnel vision because it's more than one woman that affected my no. life as well. So, yeah. you was right about that. I can't, I can't just say that one person is my favorite. I'm, I'm gonna give a few examples, just like Johnny O did. So, yeah. yeah. Who and who were, who was yours? All right, getting to me. Yeah, my, 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 my situation is a little more complex, as you can imagine, ladies. You know what a complex gentleman I am. I have a complex. Complexity. That's what I have. And anyhow. 
But uh, no, it's very hard sometimes because I did have a little bit of a different upbringing and whatever. And I found my real mother, my biological mother, when I was 19. Mm. Interesting. And we keep a relationship to this day, which is wonderful. And she's a wonderful lady. That's good. So um, that's, I really can't elaborate that on that like too much more or anything because we shared such great times and hell we need a hell of a lot more time than we got but that's who i'm gonna go with and i'm gonna i'm gonna thank uh johnny o and i'm gonna thank dion for that too because i was kind of going more toward like the movies or like music or something like that we usually do and both of these guys mentioned family members and i'll tell you what i felt like a shithead i was (laughs) like uh Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm barking up the wrong tree here, so I, I got in line right there. So okay. that's pretty cool. So thanks for letting me spout that off, and Dion, right. take it away, baby. You gotcha. got it. All right, so me, I'm going to get mine out the way pretty quickly. Thank um, you very much. I have a, a lot of females in my family. Matter of fact, my female, my family is mostly females. Uh, I was raised by my grandma. Shout out to Sue Whitmore. Um, I was raised by Sue Whitmore. my mother. Shout out to Cassandra Lindsay, and I was Cassandra by, Lindsay. Uh, my um, auntie, Barbara Whitmore, God rest her soul. Barbara Whitmore. But, Barbara Whitmore. Um, she, she raised me as well, and she, all of them taught me that women are a lot stronger than what's perceived in books, what you see on television, and what you hear on radio. Um, I was firsthand witness to it. I had a dad in my life. Okay? I had a stepfather, but I also have a biological father. Shout out to both of y'all. Love both of y'all the same. And, But my mother, my auntie, and my grandma taught me to have a little bit more respect for females because they go through a lot. Some of them go through a lot more than what the average dude can go through or even muster. And with all that combined, it, I did, it did, God dropped the daughter on me. So now hey. I have even more respect. Neato, for man. That was a new that was a new ball game for yeah. you, wasn't it? Yeah. So guy, he dropped awesome. the, he dropped the awesome. uh, a beautiful daughter on me. And who is 21 and grown now. Oh, and that's awesome. That taught me how to maneuver and work through a lot of situations with, you know, a lot of really cool females. Because not a lot of females are cool. I mean, a lot of females are cool, but it's a nice little section of them that are probably aren't that aren't that cool. But did it, did it teach you how to deal with my dumbass any better? It, when you when you learn from females, they teach you each aspect because they get it from all aspects. You know. <laughs> They get it from. He learned from I, a chick. I honestly don't hold on. So what? He, to hold say on. I got something to say. Go. Uh, okay. Go, go ahead. Go, go, ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I'm with you. <laughs> yeah. Bring it, Johnny. Bring it. Come on, Johnny O. So, and I know that you don't mean what you said when you said there's lots of them that aren't cool. Yes, yeah. they aren't. No. Yeah, cool is an aspect of not um, doing the you know normal good. You know what I mean. Bring it, I, I kind of feel like, and in, in my experience growing up, it's like what I grew up on. Like it's not, and I didn't realize that they were much cooler until fucking much later. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah. Lot of I get that. Yeah, get that. Right. Yeah, do your thing. Um, we grow into adults. We're not kids anymore. I, re- I didn't realize how cool they were until until so much yeah. later. Yeah. So, and I know that action. you're not saying that they're not cool. Yeah. Because, like, now, you know, because now you're an action. adult. Our so many but, actions are Right. Cool. And it's yes. all influential and I'm sorry if I started all different with like influence. No, no, no. As far as my, it's still my person. influential. But, he wanted oh to God, do a show, he wanted to do a show about his nipples Super tonight. cool. <laughs> Do a show about my yeah. nipples. Yeah, uh, we said no. We, we said we said maybe in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> it's we'll, a it's we'll a trilo- it's a trilogy. It's yeah. a trilogy. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Peace out away. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Another episode. I've Another witnessed episode. him. He's got pretty nice nipples, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead. This guy here. <laughs> go ahead, John. <laughs> <laughs> Super cool. He knows I'm I sick and crazy. How cool. He knows I'm yeah, crazy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I didn't appreciate how cool they were until until much later. Yeah, Probably not nipples? until I had my daughter. I didn't, I didn't appreciate oh. I didn't appreciate my parents my until Sorry. until I had my own kids and had to be a parent. Yeah. And then I finally got like my eyes open a little bit to, to what to what they have done to let me be a, a little fat kid in a in a family that was not well off. Like where I was still able to be a fat kid and have a roof over my head. So you were a little fat kid. Treating, I was too. Treat me oh, in you both the were. best of ways. You know what I was too. Um, well, go ahead. I'm sorry. 
Nah, I mean, that's, that's... I need to duct tape it. Yeah, that's pretty that's much it. No, that's, why, that's what he's saying. He's saying pretty much they allowed like, him so to cool. express until, 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 until I got no, older, I, got I didn't realize how cool they were. I, yeah, okay. I, hated, I hated them. I hated them growing up. Yeah, being on your and, back. Right, but they made me who I am. I still... But then look at him now. I'll tell you what. This is a svelte motherfucker right here. That's a good looking cat right there. Yes, I'm a heterosexual, <laughs> but I'll tell you... Tell you what, that's a good looking cat right there, man. He's, he's good to go. And you see what he, you see what John O was saying. He was basically saying that the women in his life that influenced him may not have been superstars. Uh -huh. They may not have been astronauts, musicians, none to of that. Him, understand. To him, they are. But they were just they were superstars. Uh -huh. Yes, they were they were the equivalent of superstars in our eyes. Just like my mom, my auntie, and um, my mom, my auntie, and my grandmother. All of them were were staples in life. His sisters and his mom were staples in yeah, life. Absolutely. Eric with his mom absolutely. was staples in life. And that's why I wanted to spin off into Not really though. The, um, <laughs> I wanted to spin off into the next little oh, okay. segment, you know. Rock on rock. I want to give got? a few shout outs to women who have changed oh. the world. Oh. So I would like to start off with Jono once again. No, since I, he's uh I thought he's done earlier spot. today. Yeah, Where's yeah, my you fucking pen? Guest. I gotta do right. the, I gotta do the guest spot. We're gonna oh. get we give the guest the Yeah, we get a guest the thing. So who I, I, I did who is a, a influential female presence in the world, any era? Any era? Any era. Any era. Wow. It is, it's not limited. Any okay. era. I, you, you, man, we're, we're aiming high, aren't we? You got to get yeah. away with respect. No, I mean, we're, we're not aiming high. I, yeah, I, no, I, no, I think no. it's more than that. I mean, yeah. it's, it's respect that is. Well, no, yeah, well, absolutely. Well, but I'm well, saying it's Because yeah. behind every it, great it, man is, is you a know, great, great woman. woman. And a great, great woman. woman. Well, I mean, yeah, well, that's look true. At, let's look I at, love that saying too, by the way. Behind every Fox good man is a great woman. I love that saying. Thank you for bringing that up. That Absolutely. was awesome. I thought that's, that's beautiful. And I don't want to go. I don't want to go off the rails. As okay. Far as, off like, the rails. Like, what, what with I'm Johnny right O. Now, but in my lifetime, the first, the first woman that I was exposed to, that the first the woman world, that you exposed yourself to, that I was exposed to. Oh, I got that backwards. My bad. Um, we go talked ahead. about my sisters already. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, Go ahead. No, that's not. Yeah, yeah. That was <laughs> ah, definitely. Before. That's just we're just joking. Come on, Jobrome Yando for U.S. So the first, the, it, yeah. like it, in, in my life experience, the first woman that I was capable and old enough and red enough to sure, know sure, that sure. they were changing the world to mow the lawn was Nancy Reagan. Okay. Um, you mowed Nancy Reagan's lawn. And what she did. So oh, the, the, the first lady. <laughs> Like Nancy Reagan changed the world, man. She created this uh, war on drugs program, which is a complete failure in my opinion. Yeah. But it's it's still it, the world, and that, and that is my life experience. That's not what what I've read and known. What I what I, I mean, what I already know what happened before is it's absolutely incredible. But yes. for me, Nancy Reagan, uh, I'm. I'm in my 40s now. Yeah. So Nancy Reagan and I was old enough, war on drugs, like she captivated the nation with that. Yeah. Her and yeah, her yeah, and yeah. Uh, her and Princess Well, I mean, she, I mean, she invented first. that and, whole and, thing that yeah. said, just say no. Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, their, I mean, their what, slogan. What, what, <laughs> an incredible slogan, but still <laughs> very important. That was a nutty word. I don't say, Me too. like, my I own think personal feelings, like, trying to do everything, whatever else. Yeah. Like, she, I don't care how unsuccessful the war on drugs was, like, she influenced a A generation. A generation. A generation. Without no doubt. doubt. Yeah. Without because doubt. I'll tell you what, in when they time. were in office, I was in ninth grade, okay. like say. That's when I was entering uh, freshman year in high school, Reagan, Nancy, blah, 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 that whole era. Okay. So that was interesting. Who was, your, who, who was one of yours? Uh, one of my what? I'm yeah, sorry. Uh, one of your, your females you think influenced that, well, women, I'm sorry, not females, but that's like. Oh, the in, the, in the public eye, man. Yeah, who, who influenced the world? <laughs> oh, dear God. Influenced the world. world. Yeah, who influenced the world? You know what? I'll I, I tell you what. I. He was a great politician. Unfortunately, he got himself, not got himself, but, you know, he was assassinated. But I'll tell you what, I think Jackie Onassis Kennedy had a real major impact, not only overseas, but here. I mean, worldwide. I think it more went worldwide when the Kennedys, when he came in office and stuff. And trust me, I'm, I'm not making a political or a blah, this or that, or going one other, but that you know, she did. I mean, that, that was a pretty pivotal time because yeah. that, the like, dude got like, his face blown her. off and yeah. she's fucking right there. I, I will, you know what I, I mean? Oh her, she, she influenced fashion. 
Yeah. Yes, she you know, did. She influenced. You know, well, that's why I she said. Influenced policy, well, she influenced policy. She influenced fashion. Right. And she did well after. Well, that's why I said down. overseas yeah. as well as in the States here. And that's why I said both oh, of them. Down. She totally had a worldwide presence. So yeah, I, I don't did. know. Um, I like and I didn't one. have that one written that down one. based on what we were talking about. That's a good one right there. It came to the top of my head. And I that's what I just did. I was like, are you for real? I'm like, let me let me give her some props because okay. she was very pivotal. What okay. about, what about, about you? Man? Me? What's no. your... Me, I th I'm I'm a, I'm a name one off the top, and I think this is pretty pretty. I didn't know um, this person myself until like a couple of days ago, uh, but Marie Curie. The, wow, I know the who wife, that is. The woman that invented penicillin. Yeah. So you you have, or they called um, her Madam Madam. Yeah, Curie. Madam, Madam Curie. Yes, ma sorry about yes, that, sir. Madam Curie. Yeah. But you got you got Madam Curie, aka Marie Curie, who invented the penicillin, which. To this day, saved millions, and I go so far as to say billions of people. Dion, Back in the day, Dion, um, Dion, you're a nerdy. I don't mean to interrupt you, but let's go a little nerdy trivia right here. Let's take a little nerdy trivia break. How about that? Nerdy break. Who? Okay. Who? I'm gonna direct it at Dion first, okay? Um, because you know he's a fellow nerdy, and you know he's got some good trivia. Oh, he's already got Google ready to Google that shit. Whatever else. But it's like, uh, okay, who invented the vaccine for polio? I actually remember that. I actually, um, I actually know who did it, but... I like I said, it's just it. silly trivia, folks. Yeah, I, I, I'm either. sorry to bring the me show either. down. It seems like I brought the show down, but no. let's... You know, if you, if you don't have it, let's just, like, rip no, it out of the way. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Jonas, Jonas Salk. Okay. S A L K. What is it? With and who was lady? she? Was it a lady? No, it was a man. Oh, oh yeah. Well, no. Oh, yeah. oh that's all. Oh, off the rails. Right? Yeah. Off oh, the man. I, oh, off shit. The I did. This that's, whole thing's supposed to be about ladies. And look at me. I had to go freaking upstage yeah, with man. some Madam dope I'm sure, I'm sure With Joe some. Well, hold on. Had some help. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure he had some help. <laughs> with with lady. some with some dope who invented the vaccine for polio. I mean, how important is he? Let's get back to the women, shall we? Let's get back to Take the, it away. Let's get back to the ladies, man. Do so we have a one. voice of reason? Do we have a voice of reason tonight so, on the distance? <laughs> I really and and don't want to don't want to take this uh, conversation political yeah. at, as of this moment. And we're talking sure, about sure, political figures, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they yeah. 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 the world. Um, but let's talk about Ava Perone. Let's talk about Avita. Okay. Okay. And okay. And right. Like I, I only like I discovered her story as a, as a, as a kid and watching okay. nice. Avita the play. And yeah, 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 yeah. I heard about that one. I, I so you're very that. versed. Uh, yeah, versed. I did not know that. Uh, I, I, versed. And there's been to take it political for a second comparison to a speech from someone. A few days ago, yeah, in the election, could yeah. that compare to her to no. uh, Ava okay. Yeah, I don't see it that way. Yeah, um, but interesting. A woman, okay, so her husband in power, yeah, right, mm -hmm. the president, but she pulled the strings, ran the show, like sick, most women do. Fucking change. <laughs> she she changed the world. So yes. she's she, she's another example for me, and so I do I do believe and that. Say the name again. I'm very right sorry. Say the name Perone, again. Right? Oh, Ava Perone. Perone. Ava Perone. Okay, okay, okay. Who was that, yours? Was, that was awesome. Who's another one of yours? Uh, in the in the actress like style world. Influential actress. Nurse. Yeah. Change the world. Yeah. Did you change the world and somehow? Well, I'll tell you what. Because she brought because yeah. she, because she actually brought the 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 female voice to rock and roll. And uh, we already, we, we, no, it's, you know what? She really did as well. That's our Wait, what did you female say? voice of reason in the distance. Yeah, who was it, Janice? Janice. Morissette or? No, she's talking about Joplin. Janice Joplin. Okay, yeah. Janice Joplin. No, well, yeah, no. And we mentioned it in a previous podcast. Yeah. I believe that we yeah, did. Yeah, she did her thing. She, she, so, changed, she revolutionized music. But if you're going to go toward like that entertainment genre and like things like that, I got to say, because I still, God, I still have a crush on her to this day. I'm a nut job. Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks is like the greatest thing since sliced bread. Okay. Stevie Nicks is, man, she, she, she pioneered the female voice in rock and roll. Mm. And played with a great group, Fleetwood Mac. Yes. I mean, Mick Fleetwood, I Fleetwood. Mick Fleetwood drummer, Lindsey yeah. Buckingham on the guitar. Man. 
who the hell knows was playing the bass? Some clown. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> Stevie Nicks. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna stay on. I'm gonna stay on. I'm gonna stay on the path that E on. I'm gonna stay with the music. I'm gonna stay with influential music people. But like, Stevie like, Nicks, yeah, take it away, Dion. But Stevie Nicks, I like she this. owns my heart. I'm gonna stay, I'm really stay with you on the music tip. All right. Aretha Franklin. Oh yeah. Aretha baby. Franklin wow. revolutionized oh um, the soul wow. genre of wow. music for. A lot of soul singers now. She even wow. helped spawn the subculture of neo soul, which is wow. basically combining I've never soul heard music. That term yeah, before. It's, it's called neo soul. It's basically combining soul with a little bit of up tempo. But that's a, yeah, you know that's interesting. Type of thing. That's awesome. You got to turn me on to that when we're like yeah, done she, and you yeah, know, let I me check you. out like a couple of tunes. She so. influenced that whole genre, and she also helped a lot of the. Yeah quiet voiced female artist <clears throat> come out and basically hit him hard because Aretha Franklin wasn't no slouch her her um she could belt it out man yeah, her I mean let's get serious she could belt it out and you know what her what one of her her most um inf one of her most iconic thing is, what her boobs no that's she, what I was looking at in, in the 70s man I was rest just growing Miss Franklin I, I wasn't looking at man boob. I was her beef with Patty LaBelle her oh man! Down. Did she have those crazy hairdos? Remember them? Oh, they they looked yes. like a damn rocket ship and shit. Like, hey, oh be. man, my alarm is going off. What the? Ah, uh, no, no That's, good. Is that sailing away? Is that sailing away? Is that sailing that? away? Something else. Okay, why well, eagle? Really something else. John, so, one more. I mean, you said that, so that made me think of um, Gladys Knight and and the and, pips. And the pips. And so the let's pips. talk about the pips. The pips. Oh. Nobody likes when that happens. Yeah, we we good. Y'all so here. Pips. Right. Ooh. Um, influential that even the, the that pips the influence sometimes. everything. Background singers like uh, Beyonce, as influential as she is now. I yeah. thought you were about to say she was, she was part of a group. I bet you said she Beyonce. She was part of a group. Before. Talk about yeah, influential was. women. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> She's very influential. I was going to say Absolutely. her too. Um, and, and she had to strike out on her own to, you know, get mm -hmm. to as influential as as she was now as she is now she's not was she's still relevant who who was another one more from you oh shit man you always got to come to me impromptu like when i'm not ready but i like being not do. ready so get me ready what do you got what, what, what are you bringing to me one, bring it out your last and in, most influential what, the last chick that i slept with is, i'm <laughs> sorry to cut you off see i'm not good at that I Go watched ahead. the last well, couple podcasts, bro. Damn like, it. You brought up a certain lady uh, the last couple times. So I, clearly I, I, that's she was influential. So, yeah, you're going to have to go and spit that. I've yeah, seen that. So, uh, 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 Talking about the sex. Who's yes. gonna, who, what? Talking about your ex. Who's Talking about your ex, man. Yeah. Yeah. Out there. That's what I'm saying. Oh, you didn't sit time on a few podcasts. Man, bro. these Go guys ahead. are going to call me out. You know what? You know what, fuck mm -hmm. it. I'm just going to say, I love you, Ingrid <laughs> Rosanna. You're doing a great job. Whatever the hell you're doing, I don't know. But, uh, you know, you need to come out of that dark room and, you know, get out into society here, baby. Love oh, us. like Peace. and subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, like and subscribe. When you do yeah. come out of the dark, you, you hit this channel up. Like, subscribe. I don't think she really like, would have liked that. Watch like 10 videos. Hard, I don't think like, she yeah. really would have liked you me agree, saying like, that. If you God damn like it. Like and subscribe. I yeah, totally yeah, fucked that one up. It's right here. It's right here. It's anywhere in the video. Right All right, right so my, my last one, but not least, uh, was Amelia Earhart. A she, lot of people uh, she, know. She's the first female pilot. Yes, sir. That's why. Fly around the world. Yeah, she was the first female pilot. Did you pilot try to test on trivia? You tried to give me some No, trivia. no, no. I, get that I just like Amelia me. Earhart because um, it's still a big mystery if she's dead or not because of the Bermuda oh, wow. Triangle. Oh, yeah, everybody in it. The, the Bermuda just a little, Triangle. A little bit of facts for oh, people. Boy. The Bermuda Triangle is a point in the ocean where it's a whole nother. It's show. basically like a void, and some people even it's say um, anything that goes into the the Bermuda Triangle never comes out. And most people think it's a lot of scientists and a lot of theorists um, yep. have also Absolutely. theorized that it might be um, a portal. To a different time and space because of how, um, uh -oh. because of it, the anomaly that's surrounding it. But oh. I don't want to be a geek for now. Women, Amelia Earhart, first female pilot. She the reason why women is fly, literally. That's right. Way <laughs> so to go, ladies. She changed things. Yes. So with that being you're said, you're not you're not stewardesses anymore. No. Y'all still fly if you is stewardesses. Is that so okay? That, we're going to give y'all for the was rapid, that politically correct, Dion? No. I'm but, sorry. Off the rails. Yeah, off the rails. But 
For uh, oh, the female <laughs> the voice, the voice. Voice, voice from beyond. Voice Hit him so. with it quick. <laughs> do you hear her back there? You hear her now. I know you do. Sure. So th this is what we're going to do. Since Eric is, is messing with our only uh -oh. Uh -oh. Um, female guest that's not on camera, He's we're going to on, we're going to name oh, sure. some really good qualities about the female race that help influence us males. So it's not like we are picking any body parts or nothing like that. We're picking the oh, best no, I am. mental and, well, he may. Okay. Mental and physical qualities of women like that helped out about. men. I started oh. off this time. Right. One of the qualities about women that help men is strength. Yes. A lot of women have a lot of strength, so that's a quality. What about you, John? So I would say because I, speaking for me personally, I can yes. I can I can compartmentalize. I can shut the world off. Her. And 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 I, 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 I and I've seen and this knowing, in knowing and being yeah. with as many women, not like that, like uh, being uh, influenced by as many women as I have. Her. Um, they can't ever shut their brains off, and they still oh, are able working. to walk around. Interesting. I can't go. I can't go to Seven Eleven get a pack of cigarettes without just no focusing on yeah. having blinders on and just. Yep. Thinking about, I need to go to 7 Eleven. When they're walking to 7 Eleven pack of cigarettes, they're like, kids need that. Gotta feed this. Gotta take care of this. Gotta cut this, trim this, do this. Damn. All the yeah. things. Yeah. Many things at once. All the, yeah. all the, all the, all the, all the things. All uh, of the ability to multitask mm -hmm. while wow. without compartmentalizing, I think, is, so is such an incredible. Right. If, so I, if, like, if I was capable of those things, so if I was just not hey. lazy, I'd be capable of so much more. But if I was able to do that, yes. Are you serious? What about you, E? Dion, we have the most syllables. Yeah. We have the most syllables on a show record again. And I'll tell you what. Yeah, no, no, no. Because he added ing to it. Compartmentalizing. Yeah. Right yeah. Six yeah, fucking syllables. Yeah, six. We got six yeah. syllables. Okay. Johnny O. Way to go, Johnny O. We can make it seven. Six damn syllables. syllables. Yeah, if you sound it out. Son of a gun. So what about you, E? About, oh, oh God, I'm always lost again. Listen, we're going to try to make tangent. sure he don't talk about y'all y'all physical features. But I love you. But we love women, so go ahead. So what do I need to do? Go, tell him what's... Something oh, that you what I love about women? Help. No, what you, what, oh. what's something that they did to help out us as men? As a, okay, as a, as as a, a, as a total. Yeah, as a whole. Yeah. Like, or you personally. Okay, I you, got can, you. you can say you personally. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, you know what? A, 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 a great comedian that I love, and I'll hawk back to him, Doug Stanhope. Mm. He, uh, you know, he says, and we got a female voice in the distance that's listening to us, but hey. If they don't give us what they give us, and I'm talking about the entire package. I'm not talking about, you know, the things that we love, like pumping and grinding and all that good shit. But I, I it's, like it's, all like the, it's all the rest of the whole thing. And oh, you know I what? Do. You know what Doug Stanhope says? That's how shit gets built. Mm. You know what I mean? Because it motivates us. Uh, who doesn't want to come home to their baby every night and say, let's get down. Have a little bottle of wine. So the love, you saying love aspect? Or? Yeah, well, yeah, because I'm a romantic like okay. that. I'm a nut job. I, I can dig I'm it. sorry, but I did seriously, you know what? Yeah, There's a place for that. But if you, but if I'm you heard me mention, so if you heard me side. mention, I said the total package. So it's not only that aspect. Gotcha. It's many other aspects that, as a man, you got to be aware of. Because I'll tell you what, they know that you're aware of it, and they know that you know that you're fucking aware of it, and they're aware of it, and that, you know, like whatever. whatever. And they always make sure that you know that you know you're aware of it, that they're aware of it, because that's what happens when we come home every night. Okay. I think <laughs> another one for me would be uh, like I'm gonna go off what John said a little bit too, because I also whatever. agree with him about the compartmentalizing. <laughs> I like the fluidity. Of nice. the fluidity nice of women help four four syllables. Four. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I like the fluidity <laughs> of women because they help some of us men. I, my mom and auntie Rest her soul. She, they help me. I love how he calls um, her his auntie because I do the same thing with my Annie Ann. Yeah, that's my And he, auntie. he's a big boy. He's a grown boy, and he doesn't say, "Oh, my aunt." Bleh. Yeah, no, no. He says, "Uh, -uh my auntie." And that's I love, the way we said it as kids. That's the way we say that's it now. That's what saying it. But my auntie, she, she influenced me um, a million percent. Yeah, I mean. um, because she taught me how to basically mm -hmm. slow down, think about what I'm talking about. And then she taught me how to execute it, which a lot of people 
don't understand. You can, what did you, you actually can be talk to uh, nobody? Nobody. Oh, nobody. I'm sorry. I came but, into the conversation um, late. I had a sip of a Bud Light. Yeah, she told me how to execute. Because that's who sponsors our show, right now. Fucking love me. You see that Bud Light? Y'all already know it's gonna be across the screen. And I'll tell you what, that was such wrong thing. timing. I inter- interrupted a very um, I ain't drinking, but important uh, conversation that Dion was having with you. So I hope you still got it back. Keep taking oh, it, buddy, because that's a it. great story. So my, my auntie, she just taught me how go. to um, put my thoughts together, um, execute my thoughts, and basically move on. And that was cool. I love that. What about you, Jono? I mean, and to build off that, like not. Like dunk while in the past, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Um, I'll say this, dude. Like, I wouldn't be sitting here with you right now if not for a couple, a couple ladies in my life. Yeah. Um, Word up, women. Even recently, from from one the, of them, from even the voice, a voice my mother, of reason, from my voice, my mother just... doing X. Mm-hmm. Um, I would not be here because at at at, at my lowest, at my most hurt, it was it was ladies that yep. picked pick me up and held me up. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Broke me and recreated. And I'll tell you what. Yeah, shit. One Broke of them. So one recreated. of them. One yep. of them sitting right here. To be quite honest with you, she's off cam. But yeah, I mean, he's absolutely. Uh, you know, talking. You know, straight up right there. That's awesome. Okay. That's awesome. So with, so with that, y'all, we going to like that because I like ending it with really prolific things, and I like how prolifically my good guy Jono ended this. So y'all, Burr. with that being said, one last Double thing. Life. I'm gonna give it's a super quick round. Lightning round. You want to give a shout out to let's, let, three, the females, women. three women. Three women. Three women. Let's women. do a lightning round of three women. What do you say, Dion? Yeah. Three women. Yeah, I got three. Give, women. give us three women. Ooh, just just three women. I feel more comfortable we sit at the same time. No, no, I don't no, make anybody no. mad. No, no, no. no just, just tell them on camera. See, I was more prepared to than you. I got mine written down, biatch. The voice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The voice. His girl. <laughs> yeah. The ex. Yeah, oh boy. And the mom. Okay. Me. That's my three. My mother. My mother, my Thank daughter, you, beautiful, and my and my auntie, rest her soul. Beautiful, Dan. Awesome. I'm actually going outside of the family realm. These guys needed to stay in the family realm because that's really what they were feeling. I'm like family guy too, but I just kind of wanted to take it off the rails as I usually do. Okay. And things like that. But we're just going to go outside of the family realm. Everybody in my family who deserves my love knows I love them. Man, that sounds selfish. That didn't even you sound right. Your lady, me and John okay. were yeah, we were told, we were told to pick a, three. He's about to karate chop me already. Set Dion, three. Dion sent I me found a, a fancy way around <laughs> naming names, bud. <laughs> Dion sent me a threatening email. Said he said he's like, if you don't finish this shit up, I will karate chop you in the head. And I took it literally. He put an exclamation point it's on about it. About y'all, but I'll tell you what. I'm gonna go three right here, and I'm gonna rattle them off. Come on, one, two, three, bang, bang, bang. Hashtag Angelica, mm-hmm. Angelica, that works right down there. Okay. Thanks for hanging in there and letting me blow you up last Angel. night. I'm Angel. being a, I, I was being a total nut job, but okay. Dolly Parton, okay. I like that, baby. Love it wasn't Dolly. just because of her top ties. Dolly Parton Love. had game all over the place. Love Dolly she Parton. was a household name back when my old ass was growing up. Still is um, mm-hmm. But I'll tell you what, and let's go now because, you know, we don't forget anybody, you know, we don't, you know, we're black, white, we look, look at what we do. I'll tell you what, you don't see us, see out, you, don't, you don't see us out there doing anything crazy. We're trying to bring love like we always do. I don't do. see color, but green. That's yeah. the right thing, baby. And that's, and, and, and I'll mm-hmm. tell you what, since we're winding down the podcast, thank you so much, John, for sitting in. I think you added uh, immeasurable uh, dimension. Seriously. Nice. And I'll tell you what, Dion nice. always keeps it in Thank control. You. You. you know me. I always take it off the damn rails, but I'm going to give you one last one in my lightning there round. Hit him with it. And go. I'll tell you with what. It. I'll tell you what. Olympic style. Let's go Olympic style. And it's an influential woman that really, she is a pioneer. No doubt. Wilma Rudolph. Ooh. Do we know who she is, ladies and gentlemen? She was a track star back in like like the 40s and 50s, an uh, African-American woman. Yes. She blew everybody away. Blew everybody away. Gold medals for USA, baby. 
No, we That's do. what I'm talking about. So, just like Jesse Owens, like the uh, you know, he was like the the male version. Yeah. Jesse Owens. Yeah, Jesse Owens. You know, we don't like guy. to talk like inf- you know about influential males this, because yeah. we don't want to have a big ass sausage party no, or nothing. This is for you know. I'd rather talk <laughs> about the ladies, baby. Yeah. So y'all, with that being said, we want to thank y'all. We want to thank you. y'all for joining us today, ladies. I think we had a great show. What do you say? We give it up. Yeah, I think it was wonderful. Absolutely. Thank you, ladies. Hands in the middle moment. Thank you, ladies. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Oh, Dion. Thank you, ladies. Let us away. For joining us if y'all join us. Thank you, nerdies. Mel, too. We appreciate y'all as well. And thank you, us. Dion. Thank you, Dion, because this is Dot's View. This is Dot's show. And I'll tell you what. Gonna kick his ass. Man. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I have it. No, no, we love you. We love you. That's, 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 that's it. I'm just giving Johnny. I'm just giving my boys props right here because he's awesome. He keeps us straight. And he keeps the shit. When I go off the rails, he puts it back on the rails. And again, one more shout out to Johnny over here. He really super killed it tonight. Thank you. I'm believing. Give us some feedback on Johnny. How about that? Give us feedback. Give us some feedback. And I'll tell you what. And his girl, the first of reason. And Johnny will answer you back. Johnny will answer you back. Yeah, answer y'all back. So with that being said, ladies, we're not gonna take up y'all time no more. Love y'all. Shout out to my mom, his mom, his mom, all the ladies in our family that influence us. Good looking. We out, y'all. Deuces.